I'm in B&Q at uh, Crew today, and my wife's walking the dogs. I just dropped my lad off in Crew actually at McDonald's because he's got a temporary job there before he starts his A-levels in a few weeks' time. He's saving up for a moped. And I thought while I'm here, I'll just have a look in, uh, in B&Q, the DIY shops. I love looking at DIY shops. And what it's reminded me of actually is uh, something that seems a long way from DIY, which is that uh, my wife occasionally reads these beauty magazines, the one called Grat, yeah. and the one to us. And I never quite understand what they're about, really, and I don't understand why she looks at them. Uh, but that's fine. And whenever I flick through them, it's always a bit intimidating, because there's always these very attractive airbrushed women kind of staring out aggressively out of the page at you. Uh, so I've never really figured out what the attraction is for that kind of magazine or the kind of thing that it seems to offer. But I, I don't know if this is a revelation, but one of the things I've thought about just over the last few minutes while I've been wandering around uh, C&Q is the experience that I get in here. I, just, I don't know why I like DIY stuff, but there's something about tools and uh, equipment which is very attractive. I don't know if this is just a male thing or whether that's a sex system to stay in the first place. But I'm here across these planers, for example. These are just planers for sanding wood. And uh, there's something about these planers, the handles on them. They just seem to lend themselves to the... It's, 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 it's kind of like they're leaning into you, you know what I mean? Just asking to be, to be taken on and used in an interesting way. Here's another one, look. Saws as well. So I'm kind of quiet bit because I'm feeling a bit uh, self conscious for the people around here, of course. But, uh, oh, here we've got power drills, so this is fantastic. Again, there's a whole rack of power, of power drills here, all with the handles facing towards you, and they all just seem to be inviting a grip. And, and, and I think what's happening is they, they kind of invite you to stand in a certain way. All these power drills are facing slightly to the right. And you can't help but turn slightly to the, to the left to, to position yourself perfectly in front of them. And even if you don't, and I'm just speaking for myself here, even if I don't actually turn, I can kind of feel my body wanting to go that way. So I think what's happening there is, well, firstly, I think there's a kind of Merleau-Pontian thing going on in terms of maximum grip. It's positioning. I feel like I'm being positioned perfectly to form an engagement with these objects. But there's also a, a kind of J.J. Gibson affordance structure being offered, where when I'm looking at these objects, angle grinders, fantastic. Uh, when I'm looking at these angle grinders, they're, uh, the first thing I see about them, before I recognize what they are or before I notice their color, their use is, is impacting on me. And I'm recognizing their, what, what Gibson calls the affordance, their potential use function. Uh, and it's almost as if not only are they kind of leaning towards me and offering themselves to me as, as objects of use, but I feel like I'm kind of leaning towards them simultaneously and uh, almost extending into them, if you like. That's, the, uh, that's kind of the experience I'm having with those things. And the reason why I say that that's um, a little bit like I was talking about earlier on, with uh, my wife buying copies of drafts here, is maybe that's what's happening with her. I've tried to get her interested in tools, but she's not really buying it. But maybe that's what's happening with, uh, with Nancy and the, and the beauty mags. Maybe she feels le le lent toward, and maybe I feel like, and maybe um, she feels like she's leading into those kind of images and extending kind of cybernetically into those images in a way that on a good day, I can wander around B&Q here and look at junior hacksaws and feel myself extending into the hack store. I'm not actually going to buy anything today, I'm just looking at stuff.